Somaliland President Yuz Bihi is in Washington on a 10-day visit to the U.S. Wednesday, he met a congressional delegation. Many are on various legislative committees concerning foreign affairs. Most of them are conservatives. This was the same case recently when a parliamentary delegation from the UK visited Hargeisa. Why are Western conservatives attracted to Somaliland? Three reasons stand out. Somaliland has executed elections, however flawed, several times in the past five years. Somaliland appears successful, in comparison to Somalia, in fighting terrorism. Somaliland offers some economic opportunities with its transport facilities and geographical location. While these are not, in their entirety, reasons to recognize Hargeisa's sovereignty, they do score political points and could be a financial advantage to these legislators and companies they have relationships with. So Hargeisa is going to consistently find supporters in the UK and US governments, as well as eventually some Europeans as well. What should Mogadishu do to make sure their support doesn't evolve into support for independence? Issuing statements and pressuring Western administrations has worked so far. But Somalia needs to get these elections behind them and commit to universal suffrage polls soonest. Secondly, a real strategy for defeating the Al-Shabaab must be developed. Most analysts see the current plan as one to take back territory a little at a time and absorb attacks. A plan for victory has not been articulated, if indeed there is one. Lastly, when elections are completed, Somalia must implement its National Development Plan, NDP-9, at full speed. Plan so impressed international financial organizations that Somalia was admitted to a special IMF program and cut billions off of its national debt almost immediately. This momentum was almost entirely lost due to the grossly delayed elections. It needs to be restarted in a hurry. The key to keeping other countries from recognizing Somaliland as independent is making Mogadishu a more attractive diplomatic and economic partner. ADN-TV will continue to report on political developments throughout Africa.